make this podium worthy of, of that guy from The Hangover. Hello, Knox College. Thank you for this incredible distinction. Bomb, I'm a doctor now. You didn't even have to pay for med school. And I don't have to pay off any student loans. This is great. Thank you, students, faculty, parents, and elderly relatives who have no idea who I am. <laughs> it is such an honor to be in the presence of hundreds of the sharpest young minds in America, all simultaneously updating their Twitter. <laughs> Hashtag humbled. I feel a special kinship with all of you. As a graduate of Oberlin College in rural Ohio, I know a thing or two about small Midwestern schools. They somehow mix heartland American values of hard work, grit, and determination with burning curiosity, a progressive disposition, and a genuine thirst for knowledge. And, of course, terrible sports teams with embarrassing mascots. <laughs> The Prairie Fires. Seriously. It's interesting. I just, I feel like if it was up to me to choose a team name, I would start with the animals, your, your bulls and jaguars, and then move on to natural disasters. <laughs> with all due respect, the Prairie Fires sounds more like a Steinbeck novel than a team name. And not a very good Steinbeck novel at that. No subtlety. You need something that strikes fear into the hearts of the opposing team, not something that strikes fear into groundhogs. <laughs> now, right there, see? The Knox College groundhogs. That would be better than prairie fires. So, you're all wondering where to go from here and how your lives are going to turn out. Well, let me start by saying you're all going to be fine. Now, how do I know that? Well, for starters, you're all incredibly good looking. But you've also just completed a phenomenal liberal arts education, which is the foundation of a constructive and meaningful life. With such a broad spectrum of knowledge, you are all infinitely deployable. That said, if you majored in classics, that one's on you. <laughs> we'll be seeing you and your bust of Euripides at job fairs for years to come. When I was first asked to speak to the Knox class of 2013, I must admit I didn't know if I was the guy you wanted giving advice, if you think about it. I'm best known for playing a character who makes terrible decisions and then can't even remember them. So I got nervous. I got a little scared. It wasn't a physical fear of any kind. I'm pretty sure I could take any of you in a fist fight. And if not, my high-pitched screaming would surely paralyze you. Rather, I was simply scared of screwing it up. What was I going to talk about? But then it occurred to me, this is exactly what I do have to share with you. My first-hand knowledge that one of the most valuable and life-informing things you can experience is, in fact, fear. That's right. I'm here to tell you that fear is good. Maybe you feel fear right now, fear that you won't land a job, fear that you won't find true love, or fear that your commencement speaker is completely naked under this robe. <laughs> All very valid fears. <laughs> but to understand why fear is good, one has to stop viewing fear as a feeling, emotion, or behavioral command and start looking at it simply as information. Fear is good because it's our brain's way of identifying the things about which we are ignorant. Knowing this, we should look at our fear not as a reason to avoid the things that frighten us, but as a reason to engage them. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not telling you to seek out things that are life-endangering, like fires or grizzly bears, which, by the way, brings me to a very important point. You're supposed to run from a fire and play dead with a grizzly bear. Do not mix those up. Very important. And if you ever see a grizzly bear that's on fire, gently remind him to stop, drop, and roll. And if that works, and the bear is still alive, then of course you should immediately play dead. All of that is to say that fear of known physical danger is obviously warranted and needn't be questioned or overthought. But the other kind of fear, 
the unknown, fear that shuts down action without any real explanation. When you feel that fear, let it be a trigger for curiosity. Thank you.